Yeah, I can. <laughs> Look at this. Well, hello there. Welcome to New Dark Den episode. Today, I prepared a lot of special, special things for you. This Terena host Murnus female, she molted, so we are going to snitch her mold. We are going to check on this baby centipede. We are also going to check on baby scorpions, the communal setup that I have here. Also kiwi molted, so we are going to check her out and we will try to feed her. Then we have some fan mail to open and we will end it up with jungle nymphs that are being inside of the dead enclosure that you cannot really see very well, but we need to put some fresh food in there and also in the same time we are going to take all the babies and count them. I sold some, I gave away some, so I want to see how many there are left. And also I want to show you all the different sizes that we have inside. Some are getting quite large, so let's go. Now which animal will be first? I think that I, I would like to start with Kiwi since she's already really really active you see she molted a few days after we moved her into this enclosure so that was the reason why she refused to eat so hopefully now she will be interested in some roach snake <laughs> we are going to check that out no i need to remove the top lid hey kiwi don't freak out everything will be all right you're getting one roach one juicy roach hope that you are up for that hmm, and i noticed that i didn't I don't have a tripod and I need a tripod for this. Well, actually, maybe we will see. Roachy, roachy. Hey, Kiwi, wanna turn around? There is some roach around. Oh, she spotted it. Let's see if we can get her to jump. Do you see it? No, 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 don't go, Kiwi. Do you wanna get it? Oh, I think that she will get it. Or maybe not. Should I release the roach? I'm not sure. I don't want to miss the... I don't want to miss the clip. Let's see. She's intrigued, but not fully committed. Maybe it is too soon. Yeah, she definitely... Hmm. There is no light over there. Come on, Kiwi, give us some action. Oh, <laughs> nice, she got it. <laughs> it is kind of low light, but still I think you can you can see it clearly awesome Can you maybe come outside with that roach? Ah, Such a shame that she is over there. I cannot get a better shot unfortunately, but at least we saw the takedown now It is munching time. You see it would be so cool if she would like go on top where her hide is But I don't want to mess too much with her because this is her first meal after the mulch So I want her to eat it and get all nice and round again So I guess if she doesn't want to come outside, we will just leave her there But maybe there's still a chance. I don't know. You see that she is moving there She's still not fully committed where she will eat that roach. Are you enjoying that roach Kiwi? I sure hope so. <laughs> Let's open the package now and maybe in the meantime she will actually come outside, we will see. <laughs> sour patch, I think I will I will start with that. Ooh, sour. Yes. Mm. Let's see. Dan, thank you for this meaningful letter and for this art piece and for the candy of course. I really appreciate it and good luck with your new eight-legged friends. <laughs> I'm sure you will enjoy them. Now back to Kiwi. She still didn't move from there, so I guess we will just continue with other animals and I will keep my eye on her in case she comes out. So off you go there. Next one, should we pull up? No, let's check the centipede. I need something else before I, before I open this enclosure. She sometimes starts to bolt a lot when I remove her cork bark. I already had a few close calls, so I want to prevent that and have her contained inside of this bigger box. Having a loose centipede is not a fun thing. Let's check her out. Hmm, there she is, being calm at the moment. We will try and give her a roach, although she often refuses that on the camera or, or in general on the light. What I do is just leave roach inside and she eats it on her own will in the darkness. So let's see if that will change now. Oh. Mm -hmm. <laughs> At least she is calm now. 
but I'm not sure if she is now searching for her the roach or what. Hmm. Let's give her. No, no, no! Don't hide. Roach is there. Aren't you hungry? Hmm? No. How dare you refuse food? So far, she always does that. She never takes Roach in front of me. So rude. But you see how she's getting bigger and bigger. So I hope that she will grow to be a big and strong centipede. I really hope that. Well, this was quick. Let's now continue with other animals. Let's try to snitch the OBT molt. That is always fun. This is the enclosure that I did in ASMR video. <laughs> A video that some of you loved and some of you hated, but it was really fun to make. So if you look down there, mm, you see the orange thing. That is her mold. So I will try to try to take that. If the tarantula won't mind that, of course. Oh. I saw some movement inside, but here is the mold. Oh, I kind of destroyed it. <laughs> Unfortunately, I was hoping to to use it, but now it's not usable. Can we maybe get a sneak peek of her? Oh, carapace, <laughs> and I will remove this leg part. <laughs> so, girl, where are you? Mm, oh, I see her there. Look at that! I need a manual focus for this. You see, Terinohelus mordinus booty, right there. <laughs> Hilarious. <laughs> It is quite spacious in there, who would have thought? Now you know that recently my other OBT molted, the red color form, not the one that I rehoused in the last video. He molted and it is actually a mature male, so in like 2-3 weeks, when her a month actually, just to be sure, we will attempt one hubba hubba time. That will be interesting. <laughs> Kiwi is still down there, yeah, she is. Now let's then move into scorpions. These here are Titius stigmurus scorpions. You know I have a colony of babies. Here they are. <laughs> there is one, two, three, four, five, six, seven left. I noticed that one died and it was mid-molt. But the others molted without a problem. Without any problem, so I don't think that they need more surface to molt. Because you know, in order to molt they need a slope. That way the gravity assists them in their molting. But they have this cork bark that is actually sloped, so I'm not sure why that one had a problem. Well, let's try and feed them. Oh, they're all gone now. I guess they don't like light, huh? But let's see if they are hungry. Hey, you! You want this roach? Hmm? Yes? No? Too big? Too small? Oh, what was that? How about you? Oh. Hmm, maybe it is too big. Hot roach coming right up. Oh. Ooh, got it. Yes. <laughs> At least one got it. Nice. Let's see if this other one will want. Oh, where did you go? <laughs> Come on, catch it. Oh, he's panicking. Uh oh. No, don't go there. No, no, no. No! It's a roach. Yep, got it. <laughs> no, it left it. Hey, so rude. Maybe this one wants it. They want a roach. There's a roach. No, roach is escaping. Oh, is that a sting? <laughs> I'm pretty sure by now they are all really annoyed. But they are a really cool sight when they are all standing like that. Such a shame that they hate light. Well, I guess this now leads us into a last topic of this video. And those are, of course, the jungle nymphs. And I will actually record that over there, in front of their enclosure. You can just leave everything. Q is still down. Yeah, Q is still down. Let's turn you here so you can see stuff. Actually, come closer. There we go, this is the enclosure. As you can see, they ate all of their plants. No more leaves on this branch, so I'm going to pull that out. You see here I have a fresh one. We will use this one. And yeah, I need some, some sort of box where I will put all the nymphs while I'm counting them, yeah. This should be good enough. Let's start. Hey baby, come here. 
Oh no, <laughs> she fell. One jungle nymph baby. Go, go. And right besides that, here's another one. You see, <laughs> just like a small branch. This is number three, they also pretend to be dead. Here we have number four. And this one is kind of the smallest. One much bigger here. Oh, you see, <laughs> number five, all are just dead. And are those all on this branch? Let's pull it and check. Actually, no, one fell, look. <laughs> But are there any left? Nope, that would be all on this. You little one, come here. <laughs> this one is actually not pretending to be dead, who would have thought? In you go! Here is their big mama. <laughs> there is still some water left, but we will need to refill that. And let's carry on the business. Bunch of them are here. Come on. This is, what, six? Hey, can you actually climb the plastic? Easily? Oh. I need a lid, because I don't want Felix to get them. One, two, three, four, five, six, yeah. I don't want to lose count. Another fell down here. Seven, eight, nine, and one more, ten. <laughs> okay, once again, I lost count. I will just take all of them from here and then I will count them in the box. Yeah, that would be the smartest. And also one here, come, come. And the big one up here. If I manage to, to take it, yeah. This one is mad. And you see a bunch more. And are those all? Maybe there are some inside of the bark, but I cannot see that. In regards to this, yeah, I think, I think I got all. So let's count them down. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17, 18. I guess 18 if I counted correctly. <laughs> now I need to fit this inside. Like this? No, definitely too big. These spikes are so mean, oh my god. There we go. I barely fit it inside. And look how many I had to cut away. Such a shame. Now let's put these babies inside. Can I get them all on my hand at once? That is the real question. Just a second. Yeah, I can. <laughs> Look at this. What a crazy crowd. Oh my God. Hey, where are you going? Stop. <laughs> Stop crawling everywhere. <laughs> oh, they are falling down. <laughs> I have a bit of situation here. Go in. <laughs> This is so hilarious, oh my god. Come on guys, drop down. These two are racing each other. Get on this leaf. Come on, leaf, no. I'm saying leaf, not sleeve, come on. Oh, come on. Ah, there, I managed to get them all inside. There they are. They have plenty of food now, so they can grow big and strong, just like their mother over there. Hey, are you all right? Oh, yeah, and look at this slim guy, he's hiding here, and I was wondering where he is at, <laughs> you slim shady. <laughs> okay, let's now leave them be and conclude this video. First we need to, oops, but first we need to check someone. Cappuccino, Cappuccino, how are you Cappuccino? Do you want to say hi to all the subscribers, huh? Do you have something to tell them? Mmm, interesting. <laughs> you just got scared of that toilet paper roll. <laughs> Cappuccino. Mm, Cappuccino. <laughs> he is so cute. Unbelievably cute. The cutest hamster out there. Period. I hope you enjoyed this video. If you did, thumbs it up for Cappuccino and comment something. If you want to support this channel even more, there's a Patreon page. If you're new to this channel, make sure to subscribe. I upload every Monday and Friday. So see you again soon. Bye!